In this video tutorial, I'm going to point out some of the things you need to be aware of as a copy trader on the BitGuard exchange. Okay, these are the things you need to be aware of. And the reason for this video is because somebody started me up and said um, that he had a trade that was in profit, but after closing the trade, okay, he couldn't see the effect of the profit in his um, you know, account balance. By default, when you close a trade in profit, your account balance should increase. All right, but he didn't see that. And the reason for that is what I'm pointing out in this video. And I will show you some other things you need to be aware of when you are copying a trader on the BitGet Exchange. All right. So if you are new to the channel, if this is your first time of seeing my videos, we make a lot of videos about crypto trading investing. So consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published. And if you don't have an account with BitGet already, make sure you sign up with a link, okay, in the video description or in the comment section. Because when you do that, a lot of bonuses that are with you as a beginner of the BitGuard exchange, all right? So in case you don't know already, the BitGuard copy trading option is an option that allow you as a newbie, if you don't know anything about features trading, about trading on you know crypto and the rest, you can copy professional traders. And BitGuard is one of the best when it comes to copy trading out there. So you want to consider um, signing up for BitGuard account, okay? And start copying traders and this, you can do once you set up your trades and then allocate some funds for the traders to use you can go about it, your daily business and start earning passive income with this okay so mistake number one that some beginners make is this if i scroll down here okay this is the trades that i have that are currently copying and if you look at the um trade right now this one is in profit for the Ethereum pair and then the btc pair is equally in profit okay now these trades that are in profit is made up of multiple trades that the particular trader has tra you know carried out now if i come in here to the next tab this is on, i'm on my position tab here so the position tab is where you see these trades all of them is summarized as btc and ethereum so they are all in profit but if i come in here to the following order and click on it you see that same trade that is showing that it's in profit okay some of them are in losses right now meaning that if i close it because when i join this in this okay the losses right now if i join them together compared to the profit that i have all right the losses are more than the profit so if i close this trade right now we're closing it at loss okay i'll be losing in this trade because you know definitely the exchange will charge fee and then the trade that you're copying is supposed to make fee from um the work he or she has done for you so once all of that they are put into place you may not be able to make profit for yourself so before you close any trade before you close any trade okay you can either close individual trades like this then come in here okay and close all of this trade because if i close this um either btc or ethereum trade i may not be able to make profit following the fact that some of these trades are still in minus okay this one is in minus 30 cent or 31 cent minus 31 cent and then the ones that are in profit the only one that is higher here is this first pair here which is the ethereum which is 14 cent so if I close this in this one now individually, okay, it means that I've made 14 cents in this particular trade. The same thing happens to all of these ones that are plus, 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 okay? But if you come in here to the position and close everything, you could be losing, all right? You could be losing in that trade. So be aware of this. Don't just come in here, even if it is plus, you know, $10, $20 in your trade. Make sure before you close the trade, please, Take note of this before you close the trade make sure you come to the following okay order type uh, the following order tab here and then check that all of the trades are all in profit if they are not all in profit and then you want to take profit okay in any of this trade you can go ahead and close that individual trade by just using the market closing here okay it will close with the current market order and um, you are good to go all right so you are good to go the reason for these multiple trades that are showing up as one trade here is because these traders use what is called dollar cost averaging now when a trader enter a position okay this i'm assuming that this trade okay for the long ethereum at the rest this is the first trade that the person carried out and then you can see the opening price here so this person entered this trade at this particular price and then when the market start dropping the person will now implement what we call dollar cost averaging okay to start you know adding up to the position that they are currently trade so a trader you are copying can open multiple trades at the same time so when he opens multiple trades at the same time and you come in here to your official trading account to your position tab and then you see that the trade is in profit please do check because the trades that trader might have opened maybe 20 trades and 
out of those 20 trades, few of them are the ones that are in profit. So if you close everything, the losses may be more than the profit you're making. And at the end of the day, you notice that you've closed it without making any profit for yourself. Okay. All right. So the next thing I want to give to you as a beginner trader, when you want to copy a trader on the BitGet Exchange, just make sure you come into the copy trading option and then go to where it says the leaderboard. Okay. Click on the leaderboard and select your traders. Once you click on the leaderboard, it brings you to this page. So when you scroll down here, you want to make sure that you are on the global tab. So click on the global and then you can select your traders from here. Okay. You can sort out these traders according to maybe yesterday's um, performance, um, last seven days performance, or this week's performance, or this month's performance. You can just go ahead and sort them out here. All right. If you want to sort out the performance according to their profit and losses or the um, or their ROI, okay, you can do that. Just sort it out and then select your traders from this list. Okay. You can check out all of the traders. These traders that are listed on this um, leaderboard here actually good traders okay so you can come in here and select to follow your traders because bitget is actually ranking these traders according to their performance okay for either this week yesterday's last seven days whatever you want to sort out the traders with okay they are ranked here according to their performance so you can go ahead and select any trader you want to copy here and then when you copy a trader you can either use your own settings you can follow the traders settings or you specify um, settings in the sense that you can, you know, um, set up the the um, the pairs you want to copy. Let's say if the person is trading the whole crypto pair in the market, you can select the pairs you want to copy. You can set the leverage you want to copy the trader with. Even if the trader is trading with 100x leverage, you can actually set up your own leverage and a whole lot of things. Okay, um, that is why I prefer BitGet because it gives you that freedom to equally tweak your own settings from your end, and then the trader you are copying will not use okay the settings you set up for yourself to carry out some trades for you that way you will not be able to incur a lot of losses so check out bitget exchange go sign up for an account okay and then if you need more if you want to learn more you can join my telegram the link will be in the video description that is it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next video